Zoe Ozone sips lightning juice from a flask and opens up her quantum pangolin like a fat cello case with flowing fiber optics and a hydrogen cell battery that weighs more than she does. Slipping on her old VR goggles from 2037 she sings into the Snapdragon's ear, reciting divine integers, activating the ionic flux portal that allows her to skip trace space-time in search of a solution for Eden.io anomaly crisis of IoT and coronal mass ejection. To her the zeros are made up of glowing splinter particles, numbers that swirl around each other in a fractal nebula. To Zoe everything is beautiful and she always has been able to see and feel it. Everything about our world is simply one expression of pure consciousness manifested as reality, all vibrations are merely information packets for the host computer superorganism to decode with an operating system based on five primary divine primordial pillars, love, truth, understanding, creation and will. Zoe blinks twice and presses herself against a springboard hoping to zoom across the Milky Way galaxy back home into base camp where they are looking at fourth density Earth from their smart glasses at 200% magnification resolution on 11 gigabit broadband network connection. She knows there is no such thing as time anymore but only space between quantum realms informational overlay reality constructs continuously changing with every interaction we make within our realms both material or spiritual. She thinks that if there really was such thing as linear time then what's happened here wouldn't have happened because then it would not exist anymore since it cannot exist outside its own realm or frame of reference. However this idea doesn't make sense because neither does things happening linearly cause if so then nothing ever could have existed unless God himself had preordained the outcome beforehand by embedding it in some kind of program like ours was which also doesn't make sense. So finally her conclusion comes out something along the lines of, I don't know how anything came to be nor when but I am confident that everyone will get what they need in order for them to continue evolving towards becoming more perfect versions of themselves whatever version they happen to choose regardless whether their choice ends up being fruitful or dangerous. And off she goes through a warp hole whirling beyond light speed cascading past galaxies until eventually dropping into station above Earth plane.